We're about a week into our milking routine and things are going pretty well. We have established a good milk box here. Let's show it. We've got all our supplies in their place so that every morning we know what to grab, what we need to do. Uh, we've got a good system developed and the girls are starting to really do better on the milking stand. We got a half gallon of milk last milking. Yeah. So let's see how today goes. Hopefully today will just be smooth sailing. Uh, it took about, I'd say so far about a week to kind of get this rhythm going. What do you think? Yeah. All right, let's go get the goats. So this morning we're going to show you our entire goat milking process. Step one through step whatever the last step is. I don't know how many steps there are. Step one is open up the milking parlor and put everything in place so that it's ready when we get the goats in. Let's go. We have two milking crates in this step-by-step -step process. This milking crate comes inside with us each day. So in this milking crate is our stainless steel milk pail. Our stretch cap. The little pot that we're using to milk into while we train the girls. I'm still using this, don't know how much longer we'll need it, but we're still needing it. The inside box has our pots and pans that need washed, the strip cup, our rags that need washed, everything that needs to go inside and be clean is in this crate. When we get here, we unpack it and what we like to do, I've actually been sitting on the milk stand with the doughs. Sitting on the milk stand kind of helps me keep them from moving too much on me. And they don't want to go off the side. So what I've been doing is putting the pot that I need and the strip cup right there, the rags right there, and actually uh, a few other things from the other crate, which I'll show you in a minute. So everything's where it needs to be. Now I set all this up before we bring the goats in because we want to bring them in, get them eating, get them milked out, and get them out of here nice and speedily. That way nobody gets too fussy and they just develop a really good routine. Now that's only half the supplies we need. The other half we keep in here every day. Grab these ones. This crate. Excuse me, honey. Now once this crate is unpacked, it can go over here for the time being and be a seat for my daughter so she yeah. has a place to sit. In this crate, we have the things that stay out here every day. So we have the little rubber feeding dish. We take that out and we put it back here to be filled. We also have some fly spray so that way uh, the flies aren't biting me and my daughter the whole time. We got some gloves for milking. Our dip cup, mommy's homemade salve, which we like using homemade. better. Yeah, that's homemade. So these products, uh, I put the salve over here. I just grab a pair of gloves put the pair of gloves where I need it so I'm ready to put those on. I'll get my dip cup, I'll put that on this little bench so that's ready when I need it. And then my fly spray, I'll just leave that down on the ground. If I have to spray, that's a natural homemade fly spray that works on my legs long enough and if it were to get in the milk, it wouldn't be a big deal because it's all, it's edible. <laughs> you could spray it on a steak and season the steak with it. All right, you gotta get out of here, mister. Out. Let's go. Let's go get those goats. So the next step, we finished prepping our stall. The next step is to get the girls. So what are we going to do today? We're going to get both of them at once and leave Gizmo out here or just one at a time? What do you think has been better? That would be good, getting them both. So we only yeah. have to take one trip with Bravey. Let's try to get both today and uh, we'll leave Gizmo out here munching on hay while we work with Lacey. Yeah. Okay, that's good. On this swinging gate, we leave two leashes. One is for our herding shepherd. Uh, it's a English lead and I'm using it to kind of gently teach him how to kind of shepherd and herd our animals. And the second lead is for? The goats. So we got our two leads, we're gonna go get the animals. Come on, pup. 
Oh, he's... Hey! Good pup. Trying to get an orange broad. All right, let's go get the goats. Let's go pup. Now you'll notice my daughter took her feed away. We don't give her her feed until everything's settled down and we're ready to milk. We don't want to waste time with her eating and enjoying being in the stanchion until we're all ready. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to do the dip cup. Once I'm done with something and I no longer need it, I put it right back in the box so it's where I need it. Okay, I'm gonna throw my gloves on. It is hot today. Ooh, today is gonna be the hottest day, maybe all summer. We're trying to get this done before it gets too hot. Okay, I take a clean rag and I wipe each tee with a clean corner of each clean rag, getting the iodine off. not a good sign of what's to come today. She is being very fussy today. Is a dirty that's going to go in the go home box for later. Try to get uh, her out. Next thing we're going to do is the strip cup. This is to make sure that there's no clumps, no infection. Uh, so I look there to see if there's any solids. I lift this and look in the color of the milk, see if there's any sign of blood. Uh, it looks good. I'll do the other teat. Looks really good too. No worries there. So we're going to uh, give Lacey her food. We're going to take the lid off of our catch bucket here and we're going to get a little bit of a salve on our fingers. Just a little bit just to keep them lubricated for milking. Give her feed. Yep, yeah, give her her feed. Lacey is the easier of these two to milk as far as teats go. She has nice large teats. I can get my hand around them. I have this side milked out already. We've got a lot of milk from it. Um, things go quickly with Lacey. Gizmo has much smaller teats. Now she is younger. We'll see, you know, maybe by the next time we have a kid with her if things improve. But that one, I mean, we're, we're empty. We're time to switch sides here. I am still holding this pot while milking them. They still kick, and if I have the big pot underneath them, they're gonna kick that. They can knock it over, they could get a foot in. It's not hard to hold this little pot. It's got a handle, this is just a regular sauce pot. Um, it's not hard to hold it. It does slow the milking down because I can't milk with two hands, but honestly on these goats, I can hardly fit under them with two hands anyway. And it just makes sure that we don't uh, lose any milk. If they were to kick it and I were to spill it, I would lose a lot less because I, I every so often dump what I've got in this pot into the bigger bucket, so. I don't want to lose any of this precious milk because I love my goat milk coffees. Lacey is done. She milks out very quickly. Gizmo not so much. So I'm gonna weigh that. I'm interested to see who's giving more milk. And uh, once I'm done weighing it, then we'll get Gizmo in here. Can you get me the scale? Do you know what the scale is? No. I'm gonna weigh the bucket with Lacey's milk. It says 4.72 pounds. Now, I didn't tear the bucket before, so we'll have to 
take that away, uh, the weight of the stainless steel bucket, but I just want to compare Lacey and Gizmo and see who's given more. Found lace. Gizmo time. Smaller teeth time. Smaller teeth time. Let's do the same, same process with Gizmo. Gizmo is harder for me to milk out because of the size of her teeth. But she's doing better than mine. But she is, she is doing better with it. So all looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and milk Gizzy now. Gizmo, we have to strip milk, which is a different kind of milking. It's instead of the pushing with your fingers, you're kind of sliding your thumb against your two fingers. It, for me, is a lot more of a painful process. My hands are not used to strip milking yet, but we'll get there. You'll notice my daughter is not even trying to milk with me right now. We found the two of us on either side, it, it did more harm than good. It was aggravating the goats. Uh, so she is currently being my assistant while we milk, grabbing the things I need, helping handle the goats. She's learning the process. And once these goats are better trained for milking, then she'll be able to learn to milk on a better behaved animal. It's hard to learn to milk, learn the process, learn everything at once. So right now she's learning the process and the handling. And once they're done learning, then she'll start learning how to milk with them. Pretty much got that side milked out. You This is 641, so we'll have to do the math once I uh, weigh the stainless steel bucket inside on its own, and we'll let you know who has more milk. All right, now because milk has to, ch goat milk should chill right away, I send my assistant in with this right away while I start to clean up and get the goats away. So, honey, you ready? Yep.
pup. And now a good pup gets his treat. Strip cup and uh, bottom of the pan, bottom of the pot. We have a floor drain right here, so I like to, after each sitting, uh, give it a quick spray. It takes me about five minutes, it's really quick. Uh, I have noticed when we spray it down, get all the poop, milk, and uh, residual crumbs from the feed, I've noticed a lot less flies. Today I didn't even spray myself with fly spray, uh, and I only got bit by one fly the whole time I was milking. The other day we walked in before I started doing this, there was poop and feed and all kinds of just nasty, not a lot of poop, but just a little bit of crusty stuff. And there were so many flies and I got bit up so much. So just a little quick five minute cleaning. Plus while I'm doing this, our automatic water is filling the cow water. So kind of two birds with one stone. The last step of this entire process is to reunite kids with mama and let everybody outside. We are not keeping goats inside the barn right now. We've got our mobile goat structure and uh, less goats in the barn for less amount of time equals less cleaning and more manure on our fields and pastures, which is better. So we're gonna let everybody out of here and uh, the way we do that, you'll see in a second here. You got that feed, baby? They don't get enough feed while they're in the stanchion uh, for our liking. We wanted to get more. Did you get them some alfalfa too? Yeah. Get them some alfalfa too. Uh, so my daughter gets one more scoop of feed with some alfalfa pellets and, uh, and we lead them outside with that. All right, you lead them out and we'll have gravy. Come on, pup. Come on, pup. Come on, pup. Come out. Daddy, could you, you know, put them? Sit. Sit. The last thing that we do, come on pup, oh, hold on. Now we give the goats some hay and uh, bring our supplies in and our milking for today is done. And in a little while we'll have a delicious goat coffee. Yep. Let's go. When you start milking, you're going to need to get some gear. If you're wondering what the gear we use is, click here to go to our milking buyer's guide. It's a free guide back at our website gives all the links to the equipment that we like and that we use. I hope it will help you pick out the right equipment to get your milking started at your homestead.